I had the plan to get a lot of these club profiles out during the international break, but I didn't take into consideration that I'm actually lazy as fuck, so I'm a bit behind. I was gonna go in alphabetical order, but Rabona TV asked for Leipzig and Schalke, so if you want another one a bit earlier, feel free to comment. Let's get into this club profile of the team that everyone loves to hate, RB Leipzig. Rassensport Leipzig was founded on May 19, 2009. This is the only Red Bull football club that doesn't actually have the name as DFB wouldn't allow it. They got around the 50 plus 1 rule quite easily by charging very expensive membership fees. So now they only have 7 which are all Red Bull, Red Bull employees. They had taken over the 5th division side called Machenstrat who would act as their core for the Leipzig team. And this began their very quick rise to the Bundesliga. The first year for the club was seriously easy for them in the Oberliga suit since they only lost two games and scored 74 goals but they couldn't qualify for the DFB Cup Pokal since they didn't win the Saxony Cup which was hugely disappointing for them. On to the next season which was in the Regional League of North which brought with it a new stadium which was obviously the Red Bull Arena formerly known as the Central Stadion. They could only finish fourth that season which Probably wasn't going to the plan of the owners, but at least he did actually win the Saxony Cup, which obviously qualifies them for the DFB Cup Pokal, but they only managed to get to the second round. Despite disappointing in the Cup, they actually bounced back in the 2011-12 season as they actually finished third, which moved them up into the Regional League of North Dost. This was their version of the Invincibles as they managed to get 21 wins, 9 draws and obviously 0 losses, which is actually their latest trophy to date since clearly they would finish first. On to Liga 3 now, and this meant the arrivals of notable players like Bayern's Joshua Kimmich and current striker Yusuf Poulsen. They managed promotion through second place, and this meant that they were the first team to get to Bundesliga 2 in their first season, which didn't prove as easy when they actually managed to get there. It was a bit more difficult than expected to actually get into Bundesliga 2, as DFL gave them three things they had to do to actually get a license to play there which included changing the badge, making management independent from Red Bull and lowering membership fees and allowing others to join. After a number of appeals, it was agreed that they would change the badge and change the management. They could only manage 5th in their first season despite signing the likes of Sabitza, Klosterman and Kadira. After a couple more additions in the 2015-16 season like Halstenberg and Auburn, they managed promotion to the Bundesliga by finishing 2nd behind Freiburg, but unfortunately they lost Kimmich in the process to Bayern. They had a great first season in the Bundesliga, not losing the game until the 10th of December to Ingolstadt. Of all teams, you think they would have been able to beat Ingolstadt. Despite having all of this success and rise in the league so quickly, they've actually had 7 managers with only one of them going past the year, which was Zorniger who was in charge of their invincible season in the regional league in Nordost. It now looks like the current manager Hasn who will be here to stay after an outstanding first season in the Bundesliga where it looks like they're going to get Champions League football. Thanks for watching this club profile. I know this one's a bit longer but let me know if you like it that way and also comment in the section below what you want to see next. Obviously Schalke will be next but obviously the one after. This has probably been the most interesting one so far and I really hope you think the same. Please like and subscribe, thank you Shane and Avita Zane.